<laughs> Come on. Give it up. This one's going to be oh, the one. Top. It's going to put us Give over the top. Is. Found. Found. I need some coffee. This DJ is going to be found. the best festival ever. Okay. Where is this one? Last year, I directed an independent feature film called Melvin Goes to Dinner. Lucky for me, it got invited to screen at quite a few film festivals. Without regard, we accepted every invitation. It got fairly hectic, and the experience grew tired. But once in a while, a festival would really stand out as different, special, um, odd. This one did. It, it was exclusive. Really exclusive. With me on most of these excursions was the team who made Melvin. Michael Blyden, the screenwriter and star. Matt Price, who played Joey. DJ Paul, one of the executive producers. And Noaz Deshi, who uh, was one of the camera operators and is also Israeli. This is the story of our visit to the Frank International Film Festival in some place, somewhere. You know, it smells like, it kind of smells like Washington. Yeah? That's what, what does uh, Washington smell like? It smells like, you know, apples and D.C. Yeah. But you know you're in the right place when some college okay. kid drives hey. up All in right. a rented right. van. Here he is. How you doing? Great. How's Hi. everything? Matt. Hi. DJ. I'm Frank. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm your driver. Okay. So anything you guys need, all right. You just come and you look for me. I'm gonna be around everywhere. Okay. Hovering, because they got me doing everything. Really? Yeah. It's it's been really really crazy. Oh yeah. I've had like in the last 24 hours, I've had eight hours of sleep. You guys have a good flight? Yeah. I'm yeah. Good. Thank yeah. Well, uh, that's excellent. I'm I'm psyched that you guys came. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Cool. And you're gonna have a great time. This is a good festival. And we're gonna see your movie. I hope I have time to see it because I've been running around like a lunatic. <laughs> it has been nuts. One thing about festivals, you usually get put up in some sweet digs. Like, usually the nicest hotel in town. Oh, here we are. But at Frank's oh, Film Festival, friendly. the place was a little bit more uh, homey. It's a house. It's a house. It's a house. This is, uh, this is my house or my mother's house or whatever. Uh, it's free, so guys, make yourselves at home. Guys, we gotta be here for three days. Guys, we gotta be here for three days. What? Three days. We gotta stay in this guy's house for three days. No way! This is your room. Just get yourself situated. Don't worry about unpacking. I wanna have two guys here to sleep. Uh, someone can sleep on the chair, someone else can sleep on the floor with a sleeping bag. I got the chair. Okay. Because I, I, I can't sleep on the, on the floor. I'll, I'll take it the floor. Um, showers. Yeah. Four of you at once. It's a medium-sized shower. It'll take really quick. It's going to be faster that way so that we can get to the screening. Four. we got to get to the screening as fast as we can. Unless okay, we want to eat. Are we going to eat? We are. And who's this? That's my brother, Ted. You guys here for the festival? Excuse me. Guys, you guys got room over here? Sure. Yeah, sure, Bob. Mirror space. And somewhere in the middle of a very brief shower, we all realized that Frank's Film Festival was a festival just for Frank. So what do you guys think? I think we should get out of here. Yeah, right? Right. Because it's creepy, right? What? Wait. Why? Because we took a shower together? What? I mean, you know, it's not a big deal. It's like... No, Whatever. I don't care about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? No. I didn't touch you, did no, I? No, I didn't touch you, did I? No. Okay, well, it's fine then. Nobody touched no, me. No, no fine. One... No, I didn't touch anybody. <laughs> I think we should get out because it's fucking rinky dink. It's so small. I mean, one what? guy throws a festival. Michael, come on. Bob, it's exposure for the movie. So, you know, people can see exposure. it. Exposure? One guy sees it? Maybe he's a tastemaker. What do you mean, like he's a writer or something? Yeah, like, paper? you know, word gets out, no, someone sees it, he tells people Frank. this is a great he's movie, a guy he named talks Frank. it up. He's gonna tell his brother about it. No, no offense, man. Yeah. Wait, you guys, look. We're the only movie, I mean, there's some retrospective or something, but we are the only movie here. We're the only, only movie. I mean, it's us, and then there's an award ceremony. There's awards? Yeah, Sunday night, awards. 
I will probably win something. <laughs> you kidding me? We're fucking chewing. <laughs> Told you. What's up? Awesome, dude? man. I'm staying, man. We're gonna sweep. <laughs> One thing that's great about festivals is getting to meet other filmmakers. Hey, is that Mike White? Yeah. Mike. Hey, it's Bob Odenkirk. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Good. Are you here for the festival? Yeah, it's my third year, actually. Really? Are they showing a film of yours? Actually, you know, Frank's uh, doing a whole retrospective of all my stuff. Really? Chuck and Buck, Good Girl, <laughs> even some, like, family videos I did when I was a kid and shit. Really? Yeah. So what hotel are you staying in? Um, I'm uh, actually in, I'm in Beatrice's room. Oh, that's good. Hey guys. Oh. Come on to the restaurante. A mangiato. Sit down. We got people coming in for food. Please let your taste buds enjoy the foreign flavors. Oh, wow, this spaghetti smells great, dude. Mm -hmm. Guys, let's hurry up so we can get to the screening, okay? Can I get some more garlic bread? Oh, I got it. Mom, we get some more uh, garlic bread table one. Garlic bread, back. It's coming right up. Thank you. There's a lot of tension before a screening, and you, and you just pray that people, well, that Frank, will connect with your movie. Gotta go drain the main vein. Maybe just another bottle and then that'll be it. Okay, a final bottle? Yeah. I think he likes it. Oh, he definitely, oh, he likes, definitely it. likes it. He yeah. loves, he it. loves it. it. He just loves got it. up in the middle. Yeah, but I mean, he really he likes pee. it. He, he really, he really likes it. What do you do when you stay? I mean, home? when you gotta go, you yeah. gotta go, right? The I mean, he's really should loving it. Should, yeah. we, should we pause? Yeah, yeah, get the remote. I think I'm sitting with it. You know what? I saw him take the remote into the bathroom. Panel discussions are a staple of film festivals. They're often in the middle of the day and not many people show up and they're mildly informative. So I guess we're here to talk about Melvin Goes to Dinner. Well, the dinner is based on a real dinner that I went to and um, a friend called me up a couple years ago. The characters reveal themselves and we learn about them. And you know, it's funny and sad and hopefully very moving and I hope you uh, like it. Um, so I'm going to open it up to uh, questions. Are there any questions? Yeah, Frank, you. Me? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Never mind. Go to somebody else. No. Please, because you're the only person here. It's, 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 you guys, I don't want to bombard you with, with questions. No, please, we, we really need you to ask the question. Just be great if you would actually ask a question. We came a long way. Okay, are you sure? Yeah. It's kind of dumb. Please. Please. All right, all right. This question goes for the writers. Where do you begin? Is it with characters, characterizations, a storyline, something you read somewhere? Is it a title? Is it a genre? And where do you go from there? That's a good question. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, from there, do you go into what is going to be viable as a film or something that's going to be viable as a story? Because sometimes I've got neither. Sometimes I've got nothing. And I'll take those pages, say, what's, what's the average for, for a movie? Is a thousand and what? Eleven pages. And I take that and I just use the blank. And, and if, technically, it's still a script if I have that many pages, and, I, and a title, and, I, and colors. I just think of colors, reds and blues. And this is the way that Europeans think. I've got a European mindset. Because in England, you look at the British, they're so dry that yeah. they don't even, hold on, that they don't even have to say anything. Their films don't have that. They don't need to. They don't need to tr have subtitles. Because, hold on, because they're the only filmmakers who are like, here's our idea, take it or leave it. Buy it or don't buy it and their movies have profited more than anyone's. Well, please, almost done, almost done. And I, I told you this is gonna be a crazy question. I told you, because you guys, you guys get this all the time. Does music, hold on. Heck, 
I know, I know. Uh, I have to pee. That's fine. Uh, please. Okay, but here's my thought, and I'm almost done. I really have to pee. Yes, but here's here's the, my question is, how did you guys score Jack Black? Hey, what's going on here, guys? What's going on? Frank, what are you doing in here? Hey, man, what's going on? No, 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 you're not supposed to be in here, Frank. What what are you guys all doing in here? I got an A meeting in 15 minutes, come on. Yeah, take your name tags, take the poster, come on. Film festivals have awesome parties, and Frank's was no exception. Uh, first there was the official party in the foyer. I'm, uh, Neil, Frank's uncle. Mm. Here for the festival? Uh, no, oh, I'm here to pick up the cat. Uh, summer haircut, you know. It's a yeah. long-haired cat, so if you don't cut the hair, the cat gets hot. I don't know how they know that. But it's the after parties that really run. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, have you guys seen Beatrice around? No. Frank's mom? Yeah. Do you know, I mean, is she around? Yeah, I saw her go outside. Oh, you, you hanging out with her outside? I just saw her out there when I went to go get a smoke. Okay. You guys mind if I rock? You can do it all night? No, just till I fall asleep. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, Mike. Where were you? Um, I was talking to Beatrice. She's totally, I don't know if you guys talked to her, she's like awesome. She's like really, she's amazing. I mean, nothing happened, but I mean, I feel like she kind of wanted something to happen, and we talked about it. You know, but like, I'm leaving in a couple days, it's not fair. But she's, I mean, I don't know, in like a different time, in a different place. Yeah. I, I mean, think she's with Mike White. Yeah, I think, I think he's staying in her room. What? Mike is staying in her room. That's who's staying in her room? Yeah, so I'm going there. I don't think we should stay at this festival. I just oh, feel like Jesus. we should. I just feel like we should go. I mean, I mean you said that you we should stay here. I said that. I don't. Shh, shh. This, this is, is about Beatrice. No, it's not. God, I can't even. That's hilarious to me. I gotta go. Hold on, Mike. Mike wait a minute, dude. Get back here, guys. He's pissed. Beatrice, can. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I want to talk to Beatrice. Why? Why do you get to talk to her? Dude, leave her alone. It's night. Oh, she's sleeping. Why don't you go to bed? No. Dude, get out of here. Don't. Stop it. Go to... Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Ugh. You've got to stay for the whole festival to support your colleagues. I hereby present the 2003 awards. It can be a rewarding experience, and it can get your film some much-needed attention. And the winner, Melvin goes to dinner. Oh, yes! What can I say? At the Frank Film Festival, we swept the ceremony. It was all about us. Five awards, including the Golden Twig, just for showing up. It was a good time. We got to talk film and share our movie, Melvin Goes to Dinner with the People. And we got another laurel wreath for our poster. Nobody reads those things too closely anyways, right? There's like a Italian style of filmmaking, but the style of filmmaking is no script, no sync sound, uh, all, only no lighting, 
no lights, no visible faces, no dialogue, no sound, and no storyline. Yeah. What, so what did I miss? Oh, cool. Um, do you have the remote? Because we'll rewind it. No, 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 no. Just explain it. Okay, well, you got to watch because um, the Melvin character finds out. character, not him. His character. No, his character finds out that the Joey character and the Sarah character have a thing. Pay attention because if you look, look at the screen with your eyes, you, that's the best way to see it. Totally. Definitely. Well, yeah, but it was it was because she's telling the so story. So far, I understood it. It's but really then. a touching moment if you just watch. But I've missed most of it. It's gonna be hard. No, to but I I just told you what happened. Just pay attention to the so, screen because now the, it's and the characters are. There's a moment here now where the characters reveal themselves. Right. Not my hand. Watch the screen. Don't watch my hand till the end. The what? Explain it. Just watch it. It's right there in front of you. Use your eyes to see the screen. I did. You, no, right now, you... Every well, film I've ever seen. Just watch there and just let's be quiet and watch the rest of the movie. Where are you pointing? It's ending now.